today's class we will discuss about one of the property of the fluid that is viscosity so this property will occur because of the cohesive forces in the liquid cohesive forces means take in one container some liquid the attraction between two molecules or two particles okay is called cohesive force cohesive forces means molecular attraction between the molecules of the same liquid taking the definition of the viscosity so we can write it is a fluid property which offers resistance of one layer of fluid over another adjacent layer of the fluid okay for example i am taking the flow in terms of layers of the fluid let us take uh, the fluid is flowing in terms of layers some layers one by one okay if you are taking the bottom layer it has very less velocity and if you are taking above this bottom layer top but one it has little more velocity compared to this if you are taking the third layer it has little more velocity compared to that and if you are taking the top layer it has a given velocity or free flow velocity velocity is decreasing here okay and with distance it is increasing so it is coming like profile velocity profile we can call it as velocity is changing with respect to the distance why is the distance from this point to this point here if you are taking two layers of water like this if you are taking in 3d form of a area okay like this two layers these two layers of y distance now what is the shear stress developed between the two surfaces or two layers okay so shear when shear stress will develop so i will show one example now i am taking these two surfaces okay now if it is moving like this okay now here in this horizontal surface contact of horizontal surface some shear stress will develop because of this moment okay now it is called shear stress the shear stress is in the direction of horizontal um, type so this shear stress i am taking tau okay tau is equal to this force whatever force here because for the moment of the fluid that force divided by area okay shear stress will develop between the two layers for the moment of the fluid it is f by a now here if you want to develop if you want to find viscosity how the fluid is moving if you are taking here this is a fixed surface means a different uh, it is not the liquid it is a solid surface between solid and liquid there are adhesive forces adhesive means these are also the attractive forces between two different materials it is solid it is liquid so adjacent to this surface whatever particles of their liquid particles the velocity is zero because of adhesive forces okay now between the particles liquid particles it has cohesive forces okay so because of this cohesive forces the velocity is between two layers is different this is moving high velocity compared to this why means it has a cohesive forces i am doing here in velocity profile how the velocity is changing so this is in y direction i am taking vertical direction now here i am taking on this surface at one point velocity is zero why means because of adhesive force between this surface and the particles of the liquid velocity is zero v is zero okay now i am taking here one layer here another layer okay at the same distance this is moving more velocity velocity on the x axis i am marking if i am taking adjacent layer it has some less velocity why it has less velocity means this layer is offering resistance on it because of cohesive forces and this is like this if you are going in this direction here it is zero okay if i am marking the same values here here one point velocity here one point here one point like this if we are joining all these points it is called the velocity profile it will show how the velocity is changing between layers adjacent layers these two are the adjacent layers of the water or liquid whatever liquid here we are taking the velocity has changed if you are taking here one more layer it has changed between two like this it is coming to zero initially now it is going to up to some speed u v speed let us assume okay so this is called the, the path joining all the points of velocity of the layers in a flow is called velocity profile let us take the velocity here and velocity in this layer the difference in velocities if you are taking on this axis it is let us take velocity axis change in velocity axis the difference is du 
okay between two adjacent layers velocity is du difference and uh, the distance is dy okay in this velocity profile velocity is changing from zero to maximum velocity okay why it is changing means because of cohesive forces between the layers of the flow particles okay now here this will offer the resistance on this this layer will offer the resistance on it this will offer the resistance on it this will offer the resistance on it because of cohesive forces okay so by using this we can define the viscosity either resistance to rate of flow or it is a property of fluid which offers resistance to movement of one layer of fluid over the another adjacent layer of the fluid okay so it is a resistance offered by one layer of fluid over the another uh, layer of the fluid so these two definitions we can uh, see we can write for the viscosity here strain is equal to change in velocity with respect to the distance du by dy so this du divided by dy okay so according to this law newton's law of viscosity okay in a flow shear stress on a layer of fluid is proportional to rate of shear strain okay so this is the newton's law of viscosity so according to this what is shear stress we took already tau tau is equal to f by a this force by area that uh, the, the ratio is called shear stress shear means for the horizontal layers we are taking now shear stress is tau is proportional to okay is proportional to rate of shear strain shear strain is du by dy okay du by dy if we remove this proportionality tau is equal to mu into du by dy okay same formula we are removing the proportionality here mu is called dynamic viscosity it is very important during the calculations of the fluid mu is called dynamic viscosity so some uh, oil or liquid is given in the problems they will give mu value okay the, that indicate the given liquid has viscosity that is called dynamic viscosity let us check the units okay here i am writing this same formula so mu is dynamic viscosity instead of tau we can write here i have written force by a okay so f by a i can write here is equal to mu into du by dy okay so here we have to find the units for mu okay so here i am writing units for mu dynamic viscosity so for that in this formula i am keeping mu this side as it is is equal to f by a as it is so it will come this side dy by du okay dy by du now here how to find the units for force what are the units newton area means meter square so dy means distance meter velocity units are meter by second meter by second means second will come here correct so meter meter will be cancelled so here we will get newton second by meter square here i am writing newton second per meter square 1 newton second per meter square is equal to 10 pi s in our textbooks in uh, in problems they are following pi s pi s means it is nothing but so here from this we can write 1 pi s is equal to pi s also indicates the viscosity so 10 will come here 1 by 10 newton second per meter square remember this 1 newton second per meter square is 10 pi s or 1 pi s is equal to 1 by 10 newton second per meter square okay so these are the important units for the viscosity now next we some in some problems they have given kinematic viscosity kinematic viscosity we are taking new here this symbol so new is the ratio of dynamic viscosity to the density of the given fluid so both are the for the given fluid properties so here we have to find the units for this new that is kinematic viscosity let us take units for here for deriving the units i took mu is equal to unit just now we have derived newton second per meter square and rho unit we are taking rho is mass by volume kg per meter cube but kg we should not come because so it is a ratio newton second per meter square so rho should be also in newtons so that this newton and this newton will be cancelled because it is a ratio so what i'm doing is i am taking specific weight or weight density weight density means weight by volume mass density means mass by volume so we took small w is equal to rho g in the last video we took okay so please see that video so i am taking here instead of rho by using this formula rho is equal to in these two terms 
W by V as it is 1 by G. So I am writing instead of rho W by V into I am taking by using these two rho is equal to W by V into 1 by G. Okay. So write down the units for this so that all units will come in newtons. So what is weight uh, units newtons and uh, what is volume meter cube. G means acceleration meter per second square means it is coming here. So what is the final one newton second square by m power 4 newton second square by m power 4 now substitute mu by rho units in this kinematic viscosity so here i am doing mu is equal to mu by rho units so mu has newton second per meter square rho has these units 1 by rho means meter power 4 by newton second square okay newton newton will be cancelled meter square here meter power 4 means meter square here second this square will be cancelled the remaining terms are meter square okay by second okay these are the units for the kinematic viscosity so meter square by second instead of these two we are taking one, this another unit is stroke okay one stroke is equal to so in IC engines also we are taking power stroke like that. So it is the different in fluid mechanics. Stroke means it is 10 power minus 4 meter square per second. Okay. So always remember in fluid mechanics stroke means it is 10 power minus 4 the same value meter square by second. So it is also the unit for the kinematic viscosity. Okay. So meter square by second is the main unit. Sometimes he will give one stroke, uh, 10 stroke, 20 stroke like that. 1 stroke means 10 power minus 4 meter square by second. Okay. They are sometimes given by centipoise. Centipoise means 1 by 100 poise is equal to centipoise. Okay. Similarly, here they, they are giving centi stroke, 1 by 100 of stroke, milli stroke, 1 by 1000 of stroke, like that. Okay. Remember those uh, names stroke and poise during the calculation in viscosity.